Hello everyone and welcome back for another Gentech PC video. This is going to be our, our bonus video feature for the MSI GT683R. In this video we're going to go a lot deeper into the first look and show you some of the features like the turbo and the fan settings and run some benchmarks like 3D Mark Vantage and show you the temperatures and all the other performance numbers. So we'll start off by showing you these touch buttons. Just with one touch of the button you can either overclock the CPU and, and video card automatically with the turbo button and with another button you can turn the fan profile on to make the fans go to maximum speed. This is useful if you're concerned about temperatures when you're doing a benchmark or gaming and you want to make sure that the temperatures stay as low as possible. Putting the microphone of the camera right next to the exhaust of the laptop you can definitely hear that the fans have spooled up. But keep in mind this is with the microphone right next to the exhaust and the fans are at 100% speed. Under normal use of the laptop, you wouldn't actually hear the cooling system over the speakers in use. And when the laptop is not under maximum load like this, the fans don't ever get to such a high speed. Now we're taking a look at the GPU-Z screenshot of the video card. It shows you that it is indeed a GeForce GTX 560M. That the GPU clock is at 814 megahertz, the memory at 625 megahertz, and the shader clock at 1627 megahertz. Running 3D Mark Vantage at this setting gives you a performance score of 10,396 points. This is a very respectable score for a 15 inch laptop. Over here, we have all the thermal information that the computer gave us during the benchmark. As you can see, we reached a maximum temperature of 60 degrees Celsius during the 3D Mark Vantage, which is an incredibly good temperature. And that is with the GPU going all the way up to 99% loaded. We did have the fan speed at 100% during the test. And now here is a look at the Windows WEI Index score. It got a 5.9 because of the hard drive being a 5.9. If you were to upgrade to a faster disk like an SSD, you would get a higher score. And now here's just validating that information by looking at the GPU sensors data, giving you all the different clocks as well as the temperatures. Now we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at these Dyn Audio speakers. The speakers in this laptop are actually the best we've heard in any laptop to date right now. So these are very loud, very clear and crisp speakers. Since they're forward facing, the volume isn't muffled. And it does have a four speaker setup, so there's also speakers in the front of the laptop. Obviously hearing this in person is much different than recording it, but you get the idea. Now here we are with Furmark running. Now this is a very infamous benchmark. It is known to be the killer of video cards because it is so demanding that it actually has fried video cards that don't have enough cooling to keep up with the benchmark. We've been running it for 8 minutes and 30 seconds right now and our highest temperature we've reached is 81 degrees Celsius which is still within the realm of acceptability for safety of the video card. It can go up to 90 before you should feel uncomfortable. We do have the fans maxed out and the GPU is maxed out at 99% load. Now here we are with the turbo drive engine open. We use this to overclock the video card further to 900 megahertz, 1800 megahertz, and 1425 on the memory. With these new numbers we got a vantage score of performance 11,647 so a 10% increase in performance for free just by using the overclocking software. And here is our new thermal information with the overclock. So here is the bottom of the unit. Looking at it when it's still intact, you can definitely see there's no shortage of ventilation for the laptop. There's vents placed in the right areas to make sure that air gets to the hard drives, the RAM, and to the cooler itself for cooling the CPU and the GPU. Once we take all the cover off, you see this is where the battery had originally gone. Over there is one of the two 500 gigabyte hard drives. Next to that is the heat sink for the video card. 
Here is some of the RAM, two of the RAM slots. Here is the CPU. The other 500 gigabyte hard drive. And then lastly up here, you'll be able to see the Mammoth cooling fan that's responsible for pulling the air into the laptop. Now we're going to do a partial disassembly at the top of the laptop. Once you remove the touch button panel there, you'll be able to see you have access to the Intel Wi-Fi card. This is an ABGN Wi-Fi card. And then you can get easy access to take off the keyboard. Under there you'll spot one of the hard drives. You can see the cooling fan there because it does pull air in from the top as well. Then under these flaps, this is where you have access to the other two sticks of RAM. And that will conclude our bonus video for the MSI GT683R. If you have any more questions about the unit, there's something you need to know, just come and visit us at gentechpc.com.